Hi guys, I'm going to do a second review of this three mattress. Yeah. Okay. I will start first this one. I bought this one from Katumandu in Australia. I pay about ten dollar in Australian dollars. Okay. Oh, there's too many, too many here. This one is eight millimeter thick foam. Actually, I didn't bring this one to my trip, but I slept on once here. Actually, this mat is quite warm, and I checked with the Katuman, the company, and they told me this mattress R value was between one to two. So it was quite nice, but I didn't bring because uh, for me, it's eight millimeter was too thin. I thought at the time, so I bought um, this famous one, Thermal SG Light. So they told me this is 2 cm Obviously this is thicker than Katsuman one And this R value between 2 to 3, I remember And I slept on uh, several times on this um, July saw uh, on my New Zealand trip But uh, at the time, I sleep on the tent with this one and my uh, sleeping bag. At the time, my body wasn't quite um, adapted on that kind of situation. So when I slept on, I in the in the morning, I all the time feel really <laughs> not good and my body is more sore. So I decided to buy air mattress. Actually, that's why when I went to Auckland, I bought this air mattress. Expert, expert Shimmet uh, UL light. This one uh, less less than less than 400 gram. I remember. And has bevel and has some gap. Actually, I'm a um, warm sleeper. So actually, this gap between two bevel makes actually ventilation over my body when I feel really hot so this mattress works really well for me but if someone sleep if someone is cold sleeper I actually don't recommend this one because this gap makes this person really cold because this this gap doesn't give you any warmness or something so it makes you uh, feel cold from like a ground so this mattress was perfect for me actually because I'm a warm sleeper so it's better to know uh, which type you sleep like a warm or cold and has the air pump actually I didn't bring that uh, pump for this air mattress because I feel like I don't want to grab more 30 gram <laughs> I actually put my mouse here. I put my mouse here and blow it. And I, like this. I bought three mattresses for the New Zealand trip, but um, I will bring obviously uh, expert one because it's light and suitable for my body and still working well. But it's really important to know you need uh, some if you feel really comfortable with the, this this foam mat. You, yeah, you'd better um, buy this one because yeah, obviously this one is cheaper than air mattress. It's really big, but I met several people bring this mattress to sleep and they told me they are fine. But my case was I couldn't be any comfortable on this air mat this mattress because uh, yeah actually I didn't prepare much so I thought like, oh, maybe this mattress will be working well for me and uh, I will find sleep on the ground just I need some and um, I, I just need something between that but in the end I my I really in the end sleeping is really important on the tr trip so 
I need a mattress to sleep, so I bought L mattress. Yeah, it was fine, and I didn't pay much in B box in Auckland. I pay around 120. Uh, I pay around 120 New Zealand dollar. So if you guys need something, it's better to buy something in Auckland. Like a, there's a B box, backpack, and Katmandu. So I recommend this expat she made you a light M for someone who sleep warm sleeper who I recommend someone who is warm sleeper and it's all the time it's important to uh, what, what kind of sleeping system you prefer like a flat or if you need air, that's important to know.